Hi, my name is Ben up at Bullion RV in Duluth, Minnesota. Today I'm going to be giving you a walk around of one of our pre-owned units. This is a Grand Design Transcend. It's a 2020 247BH. No slide on this unit, but it definitely feels like there's still a lot of space in it. This unit in very good condition still. Um, no known issues that we have on it. And I'll give you a walk around. Nice and cleaned up and looking good. So up front here, we do have a power tongue jack with a light. Makes it a lot easier to crank it up and down. As I said, no slide. But the nice thing is you pull in and you're set up. It's, you know, get your jacks down and everything's looking good. So over here, we got a lot of our hookups right here. Uh, we just got done washing this. That's why we just got some water coming down from the roof. Motion sensor lights in the pass-through. It does have a solar charge hook up right there as well and you have your battery disconnect water hookups things like that manual crank down jacks Just use that cordless drill to crank those down you can see low point drain right down there you're gonna have your gray tank and then you're gonna have a gray and black tank towards the back you do have the stove top that's vented to the outside here the ladder is on the side of the unit and it does go up over top and that way allows for maintenance and things like that. Black tank flush, you know, not all units have that. Definitely keeping that black tank nice and fresh, nice and clean. Here's our gray tank pole and our black tank pole right there. Power hookup on the back end here. It is prepped for a backup camera up top. You're gonna have a window for both bunks so the kids or whoever's in there doesn't have to fight over who wants the window. Spare tire on the back here. Looking down the side, you got a nice big awning that comes out, power awning, outdoor speakers. Uh, you do have hookup outside right here for 110 and a cable hookup if you want that TV outside. Dual axle as you can see. And this awning does have where you can pull this down to pitch it and that's gonna help water run off of it if it's raining or if you need to get anything off of it. As you can see. And then another look at this pass-through storage here, nice and big, really wide storage doors, especially for this size of a trailer. Again, those are motion sensor lights. Right now I just have them on. One thing that's really nice about this awning position too, is there is a lot of times that the door will overlap where the awning is. So then you got the door open and then awning's hitting that door. This is a friction hinge door, so if you got kids or the wind takes it, you know, it's not gonna slam around for you. Nice big grab handle coming to the unit here. You got spot here for shoes or just storage, really nice cubbies. That's one thing that Grand Ascent does very well is a lot of storage. Nice big farm sink here, sprayer off of it as well. A little bit bigger size oven. Nice big drawer on the bottom there. They even give you a little, little space to put your toes for when you're cooking. Just maximize the space in here. Excuse the noise in the shop. You know, the walk around bed and there actually is decent space in front. I know some campers don't have that. Pretty much all our heat vents are gonna be up off the floor. Easier to keep clean that way as well. Good hanging storage on both sides. Not just one. And then you do have a little area for storage and cubbies kind of in there. You got 110 and USB plugins on the side. Again, close this door for us. So that's noisy. Again, um, you know, the storage in these grand designs is just awesome. Yeah, even a little drawer at the bottom I and mean, it all adds up you got drawers down below here as well jackknife sofa or excuse me not jackknife this is like their toy hauler so it flips and rolls and really makes it into a nice sized bed that way really convenient easy to bring up and down as well i mean for me to do it with one hand while i'm doing the video that's a really nice feature um your dinette is actually reversible so if you want just the vinyl side or if you prefer the cloth that's showing right now you got either option and really, you know, somewhere that you can sit, you got straight on view to where the TV hooks up, you know, decent leg room here under the table. 
You got some nice storage under the bunk. Previous customer had made a little door there for access. Um, nice wide bunks. You know, if you had a TV uh, swing arm there, you could always swing it over where the kids could watch then as well. So, I mean, one thing about this unit, just a lot of options, variations, a CD, DVD player, Bluetooth connection there as well. A lot of nice storage just everywhere. I know I'm saying nice storage a lot, but it's just what happens with the grand design. They had this ladder. This did not come with it. They actually had this installed. So that's a addition to the unit. And then again, in the bathroom, I mean, they do a good job with leg room here. Heat vent up off the floor. Significant storage. I can't even reach all the way back there. All the towels you could put in there. Um, you got your sink. Nice little medicine cabinet here. Oh, sorry about that. And overall, I mean, just still a really clean unit in real good shape. And the bunks, as I said, each have their own window, have their own plugins, USB, their own lights. I mean, it's a small thing, but there's some campers that just don't have those options for bunks. And you can see here, even though there's no slide, definitely have a lot of nice space in here. Easy to use, separate bedroom, still a nice size. Again, just good quality pre-owned unit and good construction overall. Again, my name is Ben from Bullion RV. If there's anything at all that I can help you with, please call me or text me on my cell phone at 507-402-2254. Thanks, and let me know what I can help you with.